Introducing the Try Not To Stare Challenge. Sponsored by Bro Just Wants To Dance. POV, that one person who takes all the weights. Don't worry, that clip was filmed in influencer gym zoom culture where comedy goes to die. You call that staring? This is staring. I was trying to work out and these guys kept staring at me. When you become the star of your own show, I know what's watching. When you choose the wrong gym, they've just all been on the Vimto. That pink drink was brought to you by Ilya Gollum and his anabolic horde. So the Mass Monster pre-workout supplement has dropped. He states in the description that it's not available in some countries due to legal reasons. This will be fun. Let's look at Flash Fury pre-workout. No ingredients shown. So basically, buy his pre-workout without him even telling you what's in it. Based on the other stuff he sells. <coughs> Probably not a good idea. Somebody I genuinely not just think but know is naive, which 99.9% .9 of the industry disagree with, is Simeon Panda. Oh no. Wait, yeah. you think that well, he is natural? Nippard is not impressed. Wait, you think that he is natural? He is natural. I've known Simeon for years. His physique has never changed. Because he's been on roids forever. I've seen him train. He trains like a animal. Because roids help you train like an animal. You know, so Simeon I truly believe is naive. And like I say, I'm gonna get a that, but you know, I'm backing my, my man up and... Now you made some not at all valid points there. He's about as easily influenced as this guy. Okay, uh, guess a number between one and ten. Nine. Nine? Yes. Today's your lucky day. You just won brand new AirPods. <laughs> Have you got a receipt for those gains? The moral of that story is never skip leg day. Good. Mmm. Coconut so good. Mmm. Coconut so good. Balloon. Grab, 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 grab. Mmm. Coconut so good. Grab, 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 grab. Balloon. $7,000 a day for five catchphrases. The TikTokers pretending to be non-playable characters. Guys, thank you all for the likes. I appreciate it. Mmm, the roses. Roses. Ah, roses. Ah, roses. Ah, roses. Ah, roses. A content creator with long straight hair sits at her kitchen table, rapidly stringing together nonsense catchphrases. V-Shred's been doing that for years. The trend is called NPC streaming. <laughs> The probability of me getting distracted by this for the entire video is pretty high. Mm, pumpkin, yum. Mm, hot dogs, yum. As a civilization, we're screwed. Just dinosaur us now. Huh? This makes fitness influencers seem like level, transparent, rational human beings. People who make eating my body weight in animal testicles videos, to be clear. GG. And people argue we need more doctors and scientists and engineers. TikTok much? I really hot dog. Mm. I would love to see Arnold's face when he comes back to save John Connor from the machines and he finds this. Hello, I'm AI. I'll be back. Whatever happened to the good old fashioned reliable e-girlfriend? Gigi. Introducing every fake natty's favourite piece of content. You see these guys? I didn't get them by doing this. I didn't it! How to bicep curl. I got them by these simple tips. First tip, lighten the weight up. This is the most aggro bicep curl tutorial ever. Anytime you're doing isolation on a smaller muscle group, lighten the load. You can do higher reps with these and really concentrate on the actual contraction. Decent advice, but you can also use a heavier weight with a more regular tempo and be able to execute it well, especially the stronger you become and more competent with that movement. Second tip, now that we have our lighter weight anyway. Why is she so angry? Probably side effects. Now we're gonna focus on the eccentric. So up fast, and concentrate on slowing the rep down. Last but not least is a form tip. I want you to glue your elbows to your lats. You forgot the roids you took, those help too. And so people are calling out these legends in mass on their comment sections. 
and this is why it's needed. She trains harder than most women and men. She eats a phenomenal diet and has her own gym to train in all day, every day. The way she looks is totally achievable without roids. Don't be a jealous hater. Step up your game, wussy. We'll Can't argue with that logic. And so the guy calling her out is getting roasted by every fanboy and fangirl for which I love his response. Problem is, she sells things off the basis that she's natural. That's why she won't tell the truth. Exactly. These guys didn't listen to her curling advice though. I might die tomorrow. So what am I supposed to do? Save myself for what? I want to know that I gave I all I have every day. Guy's going to be dead in 20 years, unfortunately. And so this is a big topic at the moment because there's been some very sad deaths recently of bodybuilders at relatively young ages. The conflict between the message in that video I just shown. I might die tomorrow. So what am I supposed to do? Save myself for what? And longevity. And so here's what Nick Walk has to say about it. Well, it used to bother me when I was younger. Like when I first kind of got started to get hot on the scene. And people were like, oh, you're going to die at 27. You're this, you're that. You'll never be a good pro. You'll never do this. It, it bothered me. It did. It used to, because I'm like, what do I pay these people? And now I'm like, you don't pay my bills. I don't know who the f you are. You have no relevancy in my life. And anything they say now, I'm like, I... I've heard this all before, Chad. I did this lab at this point. You know, because I still get that. Like, oh, you're going to die soon. Like, why? Because I'm big. That means I'm going to die soon. I'm bigger than the average human. Bro took too many BCAAs. And so people are concerned, not because an elite bodybuilder is bigger than them, but because in order to compete at that level, you have to abuse PEDs. And abusing PEDs, of course, brings about a health risk. And so an elite bodybuilder must be aware of the risks. It is an elite sport. And so I don't think that elite bodybuilding is a healthy pursuit, but I do understand it's an extreme sport. Here's an example of the comments that are all over Nick's posts, some of which are concerned fans with the direction bodybuilding is going in, some are jokes, some are pretty strong criticism. Let me know your thoughts. And to end, Aaron Reed, actor and fitness personality. You may know him as Ryan Reynolds, body double and free guy and supplement seller. What is the best protein source post-workout? This is a two-part question. So if you did everything right and you trained hard, you're going to need sugars post-workout immediately. With that, I like whey protein, egg white protein right off the bat. If you take insulin mimetic. An insulin supplement, really? Or even if you don't, you're going to get a big insulin spike, but with insulin mimetic, you can handle a whole lot more sugar and get a much larger insulin spike. Luckily, he sells it. No, you don't need a separate insulin supplement post-workout. I understand that bodybuilders like to spike their insulin so they can shuttle nutrients into the cells and all that. But let's get a grip here. People don't need this hack and the supplement. An hour later, you need to eat whole foods. At this point, I like a white fish and white potato or white rice jasmine rice, something like that. So you have three separate supplements post-workout, and then an hour later you have a meal. Here's an idea, just skip the supplements. So don't f all right? Don't worry, you'll thank me later. I trust you. And I will leave you all with this poignant message. Stop putting chemicals in your body and go the natural route. Do you drink liquids that have food coloring in them? You know that food coloring is made with petroleum? You know that petroleum-based food coloring causes all kind of weird side effects? Some of them include symptoms like ADA, like loss of concentration, unable to focus, irritability, can't sit still. These companies that make a ton of money pay the FDA to allow things to slip by, and then they just put a little black box on them, or they put information on the website saying, oh, this might cause cancer, or it might cause these issues. Be smart, go the natural route, especially with your food. There's enough things you're doing to your body. Don't be poisoning it with unnecessary chemicals. See you soon. Mmm, pumpkin, yum. Mmm, hot dogs, yum. I'm hungry. Um, um. Yum. Cute.